please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Python, like many programming languages, has a set of naming conventions and style guidelines to help maintain consistency and readability in your code. Naming intermittent variables is an important aspect of this, as it can greatly affect the clarity and maintainability of your code. In this tutorial, we'll explore the Python style guide for naming intermittent variables and provide code examples to illustrate best practices. Intermittent variables are temporary variables that are often used to store intermediate results during computations. Properly naming these variables makes your code more self-explanatory and easier for both you and others to understand. By following Python's naming conventions, you can ensure that your code is consistent and readable. In Python, variable names should follow these conventions. Use descriptive names, choose variable names that reflect the purpose and meaning of the variable. Avoid cryptic or overly short names. Use snake case, variable names should be in lower case, with words separated by underscores. For example, result underscore value, not result value, or result value. Be concise but clear, aim for names that are short but descriptive. Don't use excessively long names, but ensure they are still meaningful. Avoid one-letter names, exceptionally short names like I, J, or X should only be used in very tight loops or well-understood contexts. Use English words. Choose English words for variable names to make your code more accessible to a wider audience. Follow PEP8. PEP8 is the Python enhancement proposal that defines the style guide for Python code. It provides a comprehensive set of guidelines for writing clean, readable Python code. Be sure to consult it for more detailed information on naming conventions. Now. Let's look at some code examples to illustrate these principles. In this example, the variable names A, B, and C are not descriptive, making it unclear what these variables represent. To improve readability and maintainability, let's use better names. In this improved version, the variables are named in a more descriptive and clear manner, making it easier to understand their purpose. Here, Using i and x may be acceptable within a tight loop, but it's still a good practice to use more meaningful names. In this case, count and double underscore value provide better context and clarity. Properly naming intermittent variables in Python is essential for writing clean and maintainable code. By following Python's naming conventions, using descriptive names, and keeping the code clear and readable, you can improve the quality of your code and make it more understandable for yourself and others who may work with it. Always refer to PEP8 and consider the context when choosing variable names to strike a balance between conciseness and clarity. ChatGPT